Here we have a Game Boy SP. Yes, Game Boy SP. However, there's something strange about this Game Boy SP. It seems to have some sort of crystal oscillator sticking out of it, plugged into some sort of socket that's somehow glued into some weird cutout in the case. Very strange. Not normal. Very abnormal. Anyway, let's just uh, put that back in, in case it's important. Play some um, Pokemon Emerald. Okay, let's do this. Wait, 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 wait. Let me just... One second. One second. Okay. Okay, so that's 7.19 p.m., I'm guessing. Yeah, it's p.m. Okay, so let's just... Uh, Game Boy. Hmm. Kind of bright. Maybe I can zoom in on that. Yeah, my internal battery is actually dead, so it says uh, the clock won't work. Well, let's try that again, though, with, instead of uh, the 5.1612 megahertz, or the 4.18, or whatever it is normally, let's try uh, 20 megahertz here. Okay. That's a bit fast. Yeah, yeah. So either this is overclocked, or I've somehow underclocked this watch, and am speaking in a different frequency that sounds normal when sped up. Not very effective. <laughs> Impossible to drive. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Oh god. And we can also run it at much slower. No crystal. I think it's just the RC oscillator going. I think it's like 2 or something megahertz. Somewhere around 2 megahertz. Less than half normal frequency. Do, 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 do. But yeah, and then we have the normal speed, or just slightly faster normal speed. So yeah. And, uh, messed around with the regular Advance, Game Boy Advance, just with different clocks, different uh, crystals in there. Same, uh, it's pretty much the same uh, CPU. I think the RAM's different in there, I think they have more RAM. Something like that. Uh, everything else in there is pretty much the same on this circuit board. It's just a different shaped circuit board. And the addition of the backlight feature. So, used one of those extra IO pins or something. Anyway, that's about it.